I am here to report that we've broken new ground in our journey on this channel of asking the question, what's therapy? We now have in-depth evidence from artificial intelligence about what therapy is. Let me explain. This is therapy. There's this open source software anyone can check out at this long link that I'll put in the description and it's hosted on Google Collab. Basically all you do is you put in words of any kind and select different parameters and image search databases and then it creates a unique visual representation of what you put in. Even better, you can see it being built over tens and hundreds and thousands of iterations and it is probably the the coolest thing I've ever seen. I spent some time putting in everything under the sun, like Kendrick Lamar Animal Collective Bjork or Shrek Mansion. But for the purposes of this video, let's go back to therapy. Let's look at how the AI interprets therapy and mental health. And each time you run the program, it's slightly different, but also very similar. So you can see sort of the, the patterns of how it thinks and, and conceives of the ideas that you're putting in there. For this first example that we've been looking at during this introduction, we've been seeing how the AI produced a visualization for the word therapy. So let's now look at another version of the same prompt with the same parameters, okay? So everything's the exact same. And let's see just how it's similar, how it's different. So it always starts like that, sort of from a purplish background. And are, are those pills? Those are clearly pills. And you saw that in the last one, just a little flashback, you know, the same kind of pill-like representation. Here, the big difference is we're clearly indoors. Like this is not outside, uh, not that I know of. There are a few couches I can see. I like the spider webs, the sort of webby. We did have some web-like like structures in the last one, I think, but not the same. Yeah, that was more like stairs we had in the top left, but this is actually like webs and wow, I mean, that kind of looks like a dick in the lower left or a vagina. I, I don't know. It could be anything. I just felt like I did see dicks a few times in these. Again, that could just be me, but I think the AI might associate penises with therapy and I don't know why that is, but here's another example of that. So for this one, we put in therapy for the mind instead of just therapy. And you can tell it's like notably different. We clearly have the same type of couch looking thing again, right there in the right side. And we have this sort of web-like structure here. It's in the middle and it almost looks like a Van Gogh painting. And here we do have two brains again, like we did in the first one. We didn't really have any clear brains in the second one, but we have two very clear brains. One is clearly a dog's brain. And we'll see a dog come up again when we do cognitive behavioral therapy. But again, I'm sorry, but that's a penis. Like, I, I don't know what to say. I'm not trying to see penises here, but yeah, that's a penis. So in the center, uh, but what does it mean? I don't know. I, that's, that's not my job. I don't know. I just point out the penises. I don't know what they mean. That's, I have to have a doctorate for that. For this one, we put in real therapy. So no longer therapy or therapy or therapy for the mind, but real therapy. You can see it's like, a closer approximation to an actual therapy session. There's like a kind of couch or something, which you don't always have a couch, but you, well, usually there's a couch, but you know, the client sits on it, but whatever, they can lie down sometimes. Anyways, here you can see the AI trying to make sort of another couch in the background. It's forming a person and these sort of lights that are flame looking things on both sides are just beautifully symmetrical. It looks like a little computer in the bottom left, but overall, I just love this one because it just shows this like formation of creatures over time sitting in this kind of mirrored way one in front of the other then we took the logical step from real therapy to realistic therapy so this is realistic therapy and wow okay so the pills are back that's one thing we can say and this one's just kind of fucking intense. I mean, if I could say so myself. Wow, it's just very intense. It just reminds me of like a horror movie or something. But apparently this is realistic therapy. I, I guess you can kind of see like a chair in the middle-ish or the middle right. And you can also clearly see obviously a face and then another face and they're kind of interacting or within each other. But wow, this one's yeah, intense. So anyways, for the next one, I wanted to do the same thing, realistic therapy 
But this time I checked all the boxes for the image databases that the AI is drawing from. Previously, we had only checked the one default box. So let's see what it does now with realistic therapy. Ooh, oh wow, okay, yeah. That's very much pill-like again. I, I see it associates therapy with pills for some reason. And uh, we do have a fireplace now, or the therapy couch is on fire. So if that's a metaphor, you know, maybe it's, you know, fire, rebirth, maybe, you know, renewed knowledge of self. Uh, that's what fire symbolizes, right? We get this interesting thing where you can clearly see the person forming on the right side. I, I guess, is that the therapist? I don't know. But there is kind of like a webby structure again, just on the bottom left side, sort of, but it looks like reptilian this time. And I love when the AI makes text, like right at the very top or in sort of the upper middle or the bottom right or left. That's very interesting. It looks like it's trying to say uh, therapy or is it is it realistic at the top? What is it trying to say? Is it, huh? I don't know, but it's very cool. So I took that idea of clicking more of the boxes for the AI to have more image databases, and I took it back to just therapy. So here's just therapy, but with more boxes clicked. So fucking different, that's crazy. I mean, it. wow, it doesn't have pills, or uh, wow, it kinda does now, actually. It's like morphing, or it's the negative space of pills, wow. And in the center, there's just like a weird sun. It looks like the eye of like a rooster. And that thing in the middle is kinda like the gen Natalia thing I was talking about from the first one, not to go back to that, but wow, we are definitely indoors. So something about giving it more databases makes it, I don't know, for some reason, set the scene indoors instead of just drawing healing images of outdoors like mountains. It's very interesting that you can see that bookshelf, but yeah, I think it's even more interesting that there's no subjects and there's also no brains. So cool how this thing works. I do not understand it. For this next one, let's get back to brains and back to dogs dogs for some reason with cognitive behavioral therapy as the prompt. This one is just beautiful. Like, I mean, I just love this. It just has this sort of like completely different feel where it's framed. You see it's almost like a picture within the picture and just that brain in the center gets more and more defined. Now we see a face forming in the lower center and that dog is just getting more and more present. The couch is a different color for for some reason, putting in cognitive behavioral therapy gets you a different color couch than just therapy. And we can see text again at the very top and in the bottom left and right, but at the very top, I do not know what that is trying to say. Probably behavioral, since sometimes the AI does that. And I don't see any penises. Maybe some genitalia here and there, maybe a butthole, you know, whatever. But also that is a sergeant dog. That is a sergeant of dog. And an angry face in the middle. Okay, very cool, cognitive behavioral therapy in a nutshell. Now we've done real therapy, we've done realistic therapy, so it's time for hyper-realistic therapy. And this is it. Wow, we get the pills immediately, of course. And then we have ourselves a face. Wow. Okay, we get some hair and we get sort of an unusually calm expression. It's not often you see that from the AI. Sometimes it's more distraught or sad. I mean, this looks a little sad, but not too bad. Sort of relaxing and yeah, plasticky and hyper realistic, definitely. Little genitalia on the top, right? Okay, no worries. Let's see the next one. Okay, so this is mental health. I mean, you see a brain. We got the brain and we got a face. We got a distraught, exacerbated, sad, you know, another synonym face. We have a character in the background. We're kind of outdoors, but we're in like an abstract space. Kind of get mountains again and tech text on the bottom left and right, sort of something, mental and health or something. I find this one really beautiful. And I love how you get that kind of more and more realistic brain. Here we see the pills are in the brain. <laughs> I guess they've made it inside. That really shows the medicalization, I guess, of how we think about our mind and mental health, which has been sort of a necessary consequence of the advances in science and actual psychological understanding. And for our last one, we're we're gonna look at the real name of the fucking channel. What's therapy? I ran this one for 2300 iterations instead of like only one or 2000 in the first few. So we get a little more depth. 
And wow, here we just have like a sort of central stage with an operating chair looking therapy chair thing. And there's no real therapist, there's just the sort of empty negative space of where the client would be. And there are sort of people playing in the background. And it looks like it's in like a laboratory, but in also like a museum. I don't know, maybe it's because it's what's therapy. The AI is trying to like frame it as a question because, you know, it can't really understand like probably the grammar of a question, even though I did put in a question mark. So it's somehow searching with the word what's and that's just in there as a factor. Uh, but I love, I feel like that's almost the web thing to the right where it's these beautiful trees but yeah this one just gets super interesting and detailed with all these little spiral sort of toy looking things and wow I guess the therapist is just the first person perspective because it looks like it's someone almost like just looking out at the client or the chair and it almost looks like you you are the therapist and you have like even your legs crossed and stuff so yeah wow what an interesting representation maybe it should be the new channel art so uh uh, you know, that's it. It was a fun video. We explored some AI. I hope you check out the link and uh, check out my other videos because they're cool and they're different and stuff. So I want to thank the patrons, the four cool people who support me on Patreon. We got Elise, put my name in the credits, Winky Face, and an anonymous person, and then a new person who I don't know if they want to be anonymous, so let's just keep them anonymous. But we got awesome people supporting the channel, supporting these videos on Patreon. If you want to be one of them and check out extra videos and music and stuff, come check it out at patreon.com slash what's therapy. And yeah, I think we all have a lot to learn from AI, and this is a fun little exploration. So have a good one.